Hi YouTube. I wanted to do one more video before the uh, holidays. Um, you know, it, it's just a, a really special time of year, obviously, and I, I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas or for our Jewish friends a, a Happy Hanukkah. Um, take a moment to uh, spend some time with friends and family and, and just reflect on the last year. And in all honesty, it, it was a fantastic year uh, for me personally. And I really hope to build on that next year. Uh, I, I feel like I'm really moving uh, in the right direction here. And uh, I'm pretty proud of what I've accomplished. <clears throat> you know, I've, uh, I, I work with a lot of people that are fairly financial, financially illiterate. Okay, And that's not, I don't mean that in a way to, uh, to denigrate them at all. Okay, uh, but the, you know, one one thing that I usually do is, I, you know, people will throw their hands up and and and, and want to give up pretty pretty quickly, you know. And what I do is, uh, we we talk about their four hundred one ks, and uh, you know, one one thing that I have them do is now understand. I don't tell them to invest in their four hundred one k. I don't tell them what to invest in for funds. I I I don't do that at all. It's more of a <clears throat> just discussing, you know, how to get where they want to be. And uh, what I do is I always break out a 401k calculator for them. Okay, and what I do is, you know, everybody always thinks in terms of when I retire. And there's this huge number, and it's just to them, you know, usually the, the benchmark that they want to use is a million dollars. You want a million dollars in retirement, right? You want a million dollars in your 401k. And for the average person, that is just such an unattainable number that they don't even really consider it. Okay, and rightly so. I mean, that's obviously a lot of money. Um, so what I typically do is I say, well, wait a minute, let's um, let's play around here, and I will give them a five-year target. Okay, and what we do is we insert their salary, insert the company match, make some assumptions, like say I don't know five or six percent, something reasonable. And then I show them what it will be after five years. And it never fails. Their mouths, their, their jaws drop. And they're like, holy cow, that is a lot of money. I'm like, exactly. But you got to stick with it. You just got to continuously keep putting the money in, you know, and, 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 and getting that company match and getting that performance. And you know what? It won't take long. And then I, from there, I usually say, okay, let's, let's move out another five years. And it really starts to click with them. Okay, <clears throat> so really, it, it's the concept is still here. Okay, if you want to break it into a, a simple math equation, okay, building wealth is really just a function of hard work times sacrifice times time. Okay, if you were to substitute any one of those things for zero, it's going to negate the whole equation. Okay, if you're not willing to work hard. Well, you're willing to sacrifice and you're willing to take time, you're not going to get anywhere. Okay? Hard work is essential to building wealth. You know, if, if you're like, if you're in the same boat as me, look, there's no family money here. You know, uh, I don't have uh, skills that the workplace is willing to pay up for. So, you know, I, I'm, I, I am what I am in the, in, the, in the workforce. Okay? So I have to work hard. I have to sacrifice. And it has to be after a certain amount of time goes by. Okay, if you want to uh, put a zero in the sacrifice, you can work as hard as you want for as long as you want. If you're not willing to live within your means, it's going to ne negate the whole thing. There's no rule that says that you get off the hamster wheel just because you're working hard. You have to live within your means. You have to sacrifice. And the same thing with time. If you're impatient and you think that it's all going to happen for you tomorrow, it's simply not. You have to take a long view. You have to kind of visualize what you want. You have to visualize what you want. And it's actually really easy on YouTube. Say you want a thousand ounces of silver. It's not too hard to find a thousand ounces. You know, you, you can visualize what it looks like. And then you come up with a plan and break it into easy to manage uh, time periods. Okay, and that, that's why it's always a good thing this time of year. Once that calendar flips and everything gets reset, this is the perfect time to start coming up with a plan for what you want to do in 2014. And then you simply attack it. Okay? And that is basically how you start to, uh, to build wealth. 
I honestly couldn't be happier with where I am versus where I was. I know for a fact I'm doing all the right things and I will continue on this path and it is really paying off in more ways than one. It just is. And uh, I, I'm more confident than ever that I'm making the right choices. So have have a good uh, holidays, guys. Um, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. I'm, I'm going to take a little bit of time here around the holidays and uh, enjoy my time with my family. And I would really encourage you to uh, do the same and uh, keep it all in perspective and and just um, enjoy it because it really is a special time of year. But you know what? I want you to think about next year as well, and I want you to come up with a plan, and I want you to go after it.